Finding a job you love could be just like dating. So much so that in this video, I give you three dating tips plus a bonus tip on how to find the job you love. What's up, job seekers? This is Tony R. Sanders, and you are watching The Happy Meter. This channel was all about helping job seekers find and do the work that they love. And in this week's video, we get a chance to talk about dating tips. That's right, dating tips that could actually help you in your career, help you find and do the work that you love. Where else can you get that on the internet? It's like a mashup of two things. It's like peanut butter over here and jelly over here, and you just... You just bring them together. So I don't wanna waste your time. We're gonna jump right into the advice. Here's tip number one. Number one, you have to know what you want from a relationship. Life is all about relationships, right? We have a mother-daughter relationship. We have a father-son relationship. We have brother and sister relationships. We have friends, we have coworkers. But when we look at this special relationship, whether it's between you and a partner or between you and your new job, that relationship is special. And so we have to think, what do we want from this relationship specifically? Once we have that defined and have that clear, it's much easier to go into that first date or that job interview and ask the right questions, come in with the right mindset because we have the right understanding of what we need from the relationship. So that's tip number one, find out what you need from the relationship that will help you get a better date, but that'll also help you find work that you love figure out not only what you can do for work, but what you need work to do for you. That's the key. Okay, number two, find out what you need in a partner. Once we know what we need in a relationship, we have to find the right partner that can provide those things for us. We have to think about, yes, this is what I want in a relationship, but why do a relationship with this person? Why get involved with this person in particular? A lot of times we know what we want in a partner, we know what we want out of work, but then we compromise because we don't think we can actually get that. I don't want you to compromise. I want you to be in a position where you can be patient and you can find the right one because let me tell you this, it's 2021, new companies are popping up every day. There's more ways to monetize the thing that you love than ever before. You don't have to be impatient. You could truly find the work for you, the one for you, but you have to know what that is. You need to know what that looks like before you get into the dating scene. Did you hear me? Before you go out looking for a job, already have in your mind what that means to you. And it should be more than just a paycheck, right? It should be more than just a companion to talk to from time to time. You wanna do life with someone in a relationship, right? And so at work, we spend most of our lives at work, we need to have that same mindset. We're looking for a job that we could do life with, that we can grow together with, that we can be successful with, that we could coexist in a happy and fun world. So those are the top two tips. If you're liking this video so far, make sure you drop a comment and let me know your dating advice that helps with careers. Maybe I didn't cover it in this video. Maybe we'll do a part two, part three. You guys let me know if you'd like to hear more tips. We could definitely do that, but let's move on to tip number three. Okay, tip number three, here's the key. No lying on the first date. I mean it. You wanna make a genuine connection. How many times have you gone into the interview and you feel like maybe they're embellishing a little bit and you embellished a little bit and then what's gonna happen is you get that job, eventually you're gonna find out that it's not a good fit. You're gonna find out that there's not a genuine connection there. Later down the line, 30 days, 90 days, after the romantic stage kind of wears off, you run into your first obstacles, you run into your first challenge, you're gonna find out that it's not a real, genuine connection. How about we reverse that and just find out on the first date by being honest with each other. This is what I like in a workplace. This is what I like in a partner. This is what I like in a leader. If they don't provide that, that doesn't make them bad people. That doesn't make you a bad person. It just could not be a good fit and that's okay. I'd rather find out that we're not a good fit on the first date as opposed to wasting three months together or six months together or even worse, 10 years together. Believe me, it happens just to say, ah, uh, you were never the one for me and I kept trying to make you be the one. I kept trying to force you to be the one, but you were truly never the one for me. That hurts in a relationship and in a job. I'm telling you, don't do it either way. And then don't leave because we have a bonus tip for you. We have a bonus tip. This video wouldn't be a video without a bonus tip. So tip number four, our bonus tip 
look to have fun. Listen, you're gonna spend a significant amount of time with this person or at this place or with these people or doing this type of work. You should look to have fun. Should it be the only thing on your list? Absolutely not, right? It's a different, more serious type of relationship, but it should be pretty high up on the list. You should make sure that your financial needs are taken care of, but you should also make sure that you're gonna have fun. You should make sure that you're working in your strengths. You should make sure you like the environment. You should make sure that it's set up and you see the potential there for you to be excited to wake up next to that job every morning and say, wow, I can't believe I get to do this. Because at the end of the day, I just want you to work happy and I don't think that's too much to ask. If you like this video, I think you'll really like the next one. I'll see you next time, peace.